Brian Williams. I was at PNG um, for almost a little over four years. I was in brand management, um, originally from Baltimore, Maryland. So I did a lot of digital stuff at PNG. Um, Co-wrote a few digital patents. Um, had this idea of using this tech to integrate in music and media and deliver content passively based on it being around you. Just went on a startup bus competition about a year and a half ago now, maybe. Um, got funded, started a startup and have been working ever since, since uh, last August. The things that come to, to my mind is uh, just, I guess in the simplest form is opportunity. Um, and I think the, the American dream is that they're, they're, what, no matter how hard it may be, there's a significant amount of opportunity to overcome your natural environment or the environment that you may have been born into or raised in or, you know, all of those things that kind of limit our productivity. You know, when you have an idea, a concept that, that's so strong, I think it kind of overwhelms you and takes, takes you over. So, um, it was, I always say it's more like a calling, right? I always say I'm doing right now exactly what I was supposed to do at this moment in time. Um, and it took all of my corporate America experience and all my experiences and all my schooling to, you know, I guess, to accurately assess that. Um, the, I don't know, the, uh, the, the hardest struggle, um, the hardest struggle at the end of the day, you have all of these people, um, um, I guess, believing in your dream. Uh, and so that can be overwhelming, that can be stressful. Um, so you gotta figure out how to handle it. But outside of that, I'm just awesome. Um, Listener is really about delivering a platform that can activate the sound around you to deliver meaningful content, no matter where you are. So that could be listening to music in terms of connecting brands to a consumer when they're actually listening. But it could also be watching television. It could be at your favorite live event. It could be a number of different scenarios. So, you know, when I look at that as a nutshell, is, you know, we're really about activating the sound around you. Um, America, how does that relate to the American dream? And, you know, uh, at the end of the day, um, I'm a fan of using technology and how it connects to consumers in a more meaningful way. So, you know, you know, my dream isn't about starting a business or about making loads of cash. My dream is about creating something that affects consumers no matter where they are. I think everything, everything influences the American dream, right? Um, you know, it's your environment, it's where you're from, it's how you grew up, it's your parents, it's your siblings, it's, it's, it's the losses, it's the failures. Um, the American dream is about actually chasing a dream. I don't think you can actually chase a dream sitting and doing the same thing for 25 years. You can meet an accomplishment, you can meet a goal, um, but sometimes the dreams are a little bit more intimate, a little bit more meaningful. Um, and I think it, it's not monetary, I think it does connect with changing something, whether it's family based, world based, yeah. you know. I just think it's doing something a little bit better or different. Oh, I think I would never accomplish it, right? Um, and, and yeah, why would I? I don't think, you know, Martin Luther King accomplish his dream. You don't accomplish your dream. They're dreams. What I say is uh, every day I make a purpose to wake up and walk my dream. Um, and I think that's a difference. I'm living it. So I will continue to live my dream for the rest of my life. Why not? It's, you know, some people, you know, forget to dream. Forget to, you know, they get stuck into reality and stuck into pessimism. All of those things that I think limit your thinking. But if you wake up every day, I think dreaming about what's next and dreaming about every and everything and how you do and actually live it. Live it actually means do something about it. I think uh, your life was just a little more fulfilling. And in my case, I think I'm excited. I'm excited, so. You know, I dreaming while awake or, you know, living while dreaming or, you know, I'm living the dream. All these little taglines, I think they mean something. And it means that we all have things that we're ultra passionate about. And 
And I challenge everyone to say that it may not be the, the thing that you think. You know, like an example, if you had talked to me at 18, 19 years old, I might say my American dream was to be an athlete. Or my American dream might have been to be a rapper, because that's all I saw in my environment. That was not necessarily an American dream. That was my the dream of my environment, right? The people that were around me, mostly. My true American dream is probably a little bit more deeper than that. You know, and I think I, ch I challenge everyone who's a dream to really, really dig down to see what is it really my American dream or is it everyone else's? And if, if I could do any and everything in this world without cash, without anything, and be excited about it every single day, what would it be? And that's probably your American dream. That's probably your purpose. That's probably what you should go after.